Also tonight, Ann Arbor schools are facing several challenges when it comes to their budget and finances, and with that come several layoffs. The news comes ahead of a projected $25 million budget deficit in next year's school budget. Tonight, board members held a town hall meeting. Pamela Osborne joins us live tonight. Pam, this had a, has a lot of people talking in the district, as you can imagine. There were teachers, students and parents on that call that meeting tonight that took place virtually. A lot of them wanting to know how they got in this situation in the first place and also wanting to more, know more about the district's next steps to right the problem. We are also doing everything we can to understand what happened so that we can make sure that Nothing like this ever occurs again. Interim Superintendent Jazz Park says part of understanding what's happened includes a third party audit, which is taking place right now. Ann Arbor Public School says enrollment is down, staffing was up, and so is inflation affecting operational costs. It's left the district in a tough spot. Our plans is to reduce our spending uh, next year by 25 million. The district is cutting jobs in the central office and administration. There's a hiring freeze, and the district is also renegotiating contracts with vendors and looking to see if it can sell vacant properties. Next year, we will be, if, if we're successful in doing that, uh, we will be adding to our fund balance and bringing it from 2% to approximately 5.75, 5.76 according to our assumption. The fund balance must be above 5% as required by the state. The question on most people's minds, how did it ever come to this to begin with? The current school board president says the board was notified of the shortfall last year. When the board passed the budget for this year, uh, they were hopeful and optimistic that they could uh, do a realignment and bring that budget up towards that 6%. Uh, that did not actually happen. And as a result, uh, we continue to move downward. And another question that came up tonight and has continued to come up since all of this became public is what happens now? Who is responsible and how do we heard, hold that person accountable to that? The superintendent said right now that firm, this third party investigation that's taking place, they hope to get more answers to see if there is any sort of explanation or who they would even try to hold accountable for all of this. For now, reporting live tonight, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Okay, a lot more to come on this story. Pamela, thank you.